Pepsi Company is sued by New York State for causing plastic contamination in the Buffalo River. The state of New York is suing Pepsi for allegedly contaminating one of its waterways with plastic wrappers and bottles. The soft drink giant and its Frito-Lay affiliates are accused of causing a public nuisance through the mass manufacture of single-use products, some of which eventually fall or blow into the Buffalo River upon disposal. The lawsuit claims that Pepsi-Cola has harmed the environment and holds the company partially accountable for trash that finds its way into the water supplies Buffalo, New York uses for drinking water. The lawsuit was filed in the state's Supreme Court by Attorney General Letitia James who said, No company is too big to ensure that their products do not damage our environment and public health. All New Yorkers have a basic right to clean water. Yet Pepsi-Cola's irresponsible packaging and marketing endanger Buffalo's water supply, environment, and public health. According to a 2022 study, Pepsi-Cola was identified as the single most recognizable source of plastic debris in the Buffalo River, as reported by the Attorney General's office. It was discovered that 17.1% of the 1,916 plastic trash pieces with recognizable brands were made by Pepsi-Cola. McDonald's trailed far behind. The complaint connects the amount of plastic trash to the occurrence of microplastics, which are tiny plastic particles that, if consumed, might be dangerous to human health. Democratic Ms. James wants Pepsi-Cola to alert consumers to the possible hazards that its packaging poses to their health and the environment. Along with financial fines and reparations, the complaint requests that the court order the corporation to create a plan to keep its packaging out of the Buffalo River. In a statement, Pepsi-Cola, which has its headquarters in Westchester County, New York, stated that plastic reduction and effective recycling were important to business. Regarding the lawsuit's assertion that it had a legal obligation to prevent trash from entering the Buffalo River, it remained silent. Coca-Cola, Danone, and Nestle were charged last week with making false statements on the quantity of recycled plastics they utilize. Attorneys brought complaints about the company's inaccurate claims that their single-use plastic bottles are 100% recyclable or 100% recycled to the European Commission.